ഹൈ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് നമ്മളിന്ന് നോക്കാൻ പോകുന്നത് ഫാർമസി എക്സാമിനേഷന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് മെയിൻ ആയിട്ട് വേണ്ട കാൽക്കുലേഷൻ പാർട്ടാണ് ഓക്കെ സോ ലെറ്റ് ഗെറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ ദ വീഡിയോ സോ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഹൗ മെനി ഗ്രാംസ് ഓഫ് വാട്ടർ ആഡഡ് ടു ഫൈവ് പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് കെ സി എൽ സൊല്യൂഷൻ ടു മേക്ക് വൺ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് എയ്റ്റി ഗ്രാം ഓഫ് സൊല്യൂഷൻ വെയ്റ്റ് ബൈ വെയ്റ്റ് സോ ഓപ്ഷൻസ് വൺ എയ്റ്റി ഗ്രാം വൺ സെവൻറ്റി വൺ ഗ്രാം വൺ തൗസൻഡ് എയ്റ്റ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ഗ്രാം ആൻഡ് എയ്റ്റീൻ ഗ്രാം സോ നമ്മൾ ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ള ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസിൽ നമ്മൾ ശ്രദ്ധിക്കേണ്ട ഒരു കാര്യം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് വെനവർ യു സി എ പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് വെയ്റ്റ് ബൈ വെയ്റ്റ് ഓക്കെ എവിടെ നിങ്ങൾ വെയ്റ്റ് ബൈ വെയ്റ്റ് കണ്ടാലും ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ഗ്രാം ഇൻ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ഗ്രാം ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് വൺ പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് വെൻ യു സി വൺ പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് വെയ്റ്റ് ബൈ വെയ്റ്റ് മീൻസ് വൺ ഗ്രാം ഇൻ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ഗ്രാം സോ വാട്ട് ഈസ് എ പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ഓഫ് കെ സി എൽ ഫൈവ് പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് യെസ് കറക്റ്റ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഫൈവ് പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് സോ ഫൈവ് പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് വെയ്റ്റ് ബൈ വെയ്റ്റ് മീൻസ് ഫൈവ് ഗ്രാം ഇൻ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ഗ്രാം So, we, we are making 180 gram of solution. So, we are making 180 gram of solution. So, how much of the gram is required for 180 gram? So, how much of the gram is required for 180 gram? So, we have to write x to find out that value we can write this x and we can make cross multiplication. 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 5 into 180 divided by 100. So, you will get 9 gram. So, we all know that it is 9 gram, but it is not optional. So, we all know that it is not optional. But, it is not optional. So, let's ask you a question. How many grams of water are you here? 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 We are here to ask you, how many grams of water are you here? 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 So, we are here to ask you, ടോട്ടൽ വൺ എയ്റ്റി ഗ്രാം ഉണ്ട് നമുക്ക് കിട്ടിയത് എത്ര കെ സിൽ എത്ര കിട്ടി നയൻ ഗ്രാം കിട്ടി അങ്ങനെയാണെങ്കിൽ എത്ര പേഴ്സ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എത്ര ഗ്രാം വാട്ടർ ആഡ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് എങ്ങനെ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ പറ്റും യെസ് വൺ എയ്റ്റിയിൽ നിന്ന് നയൻ ഗ്രാം കുറയ്ക്കുന്നതായിരിക്കും എത്ര വാട്ടറിൻ്റെ എത്ര വാട്ടർ ആഡ് ചെയ്യണം എന്നത് നമുക്ക് എങ്ങനെ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാം ടോട്ടൽ വൺ എയ്റ്റി ഗ്രാം ഉണ്ട് നമുക്ക് കെ സിൽ എത്രയുണ്ട് നയൻ ഗ്രാം മതി അങ്ങനെയാണെങ്കിൽ വൺ എയ്റ്റിയിൽ നിന്ന് നയൻ ഗ്രാം കുറയ്ക്കുന്നതായിരിക്കും ദ എമൗണ്ട് ഓഫ് വാട്ടർ ടു ബി ആഡഡ് ഇൻ ദ സൊല്യൂഷൻ So, the answer will be 171 gram. Is it clear, students? So, students, next question. So, question number 2. A man 40 years old and 80 kg weight who has serum creatine level 0.5 mg per deciliter and we have to find creatine clearance of the patient. So, we have to ask you this question. First, we have to ask you a question. We have to ask you a question. We have to ask you a question. And it is called Cockcroft Gold Equation. Okay? Male and female equations. Now, the equation is 140 minus age in years into weight in kg divided by 72 into serum creatine level. This is the equation of creatine clearance. Okay? And, we have to ask you a question. We also know how to find the creatine clearance of the female. Female, how do we find the creatine clearance of the male? Creatine clearance of the male, how do we find the creatine clearance of the male? Into 0.85. How do we multiply this? How do we find the value of the female in the creatine clearance value? So, what is the question? What is the age of the man? 40 years. Man, we know that it's male. So, we can... We can put the values in the equation. 140 minus age in years. What is the age? It is 40. And what is the weight of the patient? It is 80 kilogram divided by 72 into serum creatine level. So what is the crea serum creatine level? It's 0.5 mg per deciliter. So you can directly put the values in this equation and you will get 222 ml per minute. So which is the answer? Option A is the answer. Okay. Is it clear, students? So, if you have a question, we will ask the main item of the minus. We will buy heart and have an equation on the Cockcroft Gold Equation to find the creatine clearance of the kidney. Okay? So, creatine clearance of the male. When, uh, to find out the creatine clearance of the male, you have an equation. You have to buy heart this equation. Okay? 140 minus age in years into weight in kg divided by 72 into serum creatine level. Okay, when we have to find the female creatine clearance, whatever the value you get from the creatine clearance of the male into 0.85, then you will get the value of female. Okay, so if you have a doubt, what is creatine clearance? So, creatine clearance is finding to 
checking the kidney is working properly or not. Okay, our kidney is not proper to work. We have to check the kidney. And the normal range is 120 ml per minute. Okay. 120 ml per minute and normally a healthy kidney creatine clearance value So the variations will lead to kidney dysfunction Okay So students, third question 15 mg of a drug is added to 150 mg of a solvent Then what is the total concentration of the drug in the mixture? Okay, so the option 6.01% 9.10 percentage, turn percentage, and 15 percentage. So, in the main the total concentration of drug in the final mixture. That is the important thing. Don't get mistakes, students. That means the total at 165. 165 and 160. This is full solution concentration. So 15 plus 150. 15 plus 150 is equal to 165. This total 165 mg is equal to 15 mg. If you look at the percentage of the last mixer, that is 165 mg, uh, total light, we will see the percentage of the percentage. The percentage is 100 mg. So, we have to put x. So, we can make a cross multiplication. x into 165 mg is equal to 15 into 100. So, 15 into 100 divided by 165. So, you will get 9.10 percentage. So, in the question, we have the main at the same time. Tell us, students, in the gym, 15 in 150 gram gym. Okay, 15 in 150 mg gym. That's the total concentration of the final mixture. So, it will not be 150, it will be 165. Okay, so 150 all, we have total item 165. So, answer will be option B. Okay, next question. Fourth question. They are given a curve and we have to find the therapeutic range. Therapeutic range is given a graph and a curve graph. The options are 4, 5, 6, 7. If you have a graph question, we have to find the therapeutic range. So, therapeutic range means it is a ratio of LD50 to ED50. So, LD50 and ED50 are not the same. Okay? LD50 means a lethal dose. Lethal dose in the animal's lacum. Lethal dose means the amount, the least amount of drug that will cause death. That is lethal dose in the body. Maximum of effectiveness on the dose is effective dose. This is the lethal dose and this is the effective dose. So, this is the graph uh, which given dose versus mortality. So, you can see there is a so, we will see how we mark this. So, how do we do this? So, we will see how we do this. We will see how we do this. We will see how we do this. Lethal dose. Lethal dose means the least amount of drug that will cause death. So, we will see how we do this. We will see how we do this. If you consider 100% of the percentage, if you consider 50% of the percentage, the mortality rate is 50% of the percentage, the concentration of the drug is 50% of the drug. That means in 50 percentage, you can see the lethal dose. What is the lethal dose? 7. Okay. And you have to find the effective dose. You can see effective dose. What is the effective dose, students? Yeah, it's correct. 2. So what will be the answer? 3.5. That is the therapeutic range. So therapeutic range means the ratio of lethal dose at 50 percentage of the drug and uh, to the ratio of, uh, we can say therapeutic range is the ratio of lethal dose at 50 to effective dose at 50. So you can see from the graph, you can see the correct answer. Okay, if you have a question, you can see the graph related questions. So just make sure, uh, you have to make sure that you know what is LD50 and ED50. So, LD50 and the students on the day and lethal dose, the least amount of drug that will cause death and effective dose, the least amount of drug that will cause, that have to be effective in patients. Okay, that's why we have effective dose. So, we have to answer 3.5. That's why we have to answer 3.5. Option is 3.5. So, nearly we have to answer 4. So, we have to answer the questions. So, we have to answer the questions. So, we have to answer the options. Correct. We have to answer the nearby options. So, the nearby is 3.5 and the total is 4. So, we can opt option A. 
Okay, students. So the last question. A bag containing 250 ml of 25,000 IU heparin. IU means international unit. We know that heparin is a anticoagulant. Okay. So IU means international unit. So the patient weight is 70 kg should receive 10 IU per kg per hour. Calculate the amount in ml the patient should receive in one hour. Now, we have a patient in the heparin treatment. That is the bag in the bag. 250 ml is the total bag. That is the bag in the bag. The international units of heparin is the bag in the bag. That is the bag in the bag. That is the bag in the bag. That is the bag in the bag. One kg is 10 IU, or the international unit is received by a patient. That's why, one hour, when you put the unit in the HEPAN, how much ML is going to go to the patient? So, the options are 7 ML, 8 ML, 9 ML and 10 ML. So, we have to do 10 IU per kg per hour. One hour, one kg is 10 IU. So, what is the weight of this patient? 70 kg. So, one hour later, 700 IU. Okay? One kg is 10 IU. 70 kg is 700 IU. Okay? That is 700 IU. So, one hour is 700 IU. If you want to take a look at this, 250 ml, 25,000 international units, we will take a look at the patient. So, how many IU units of international units of heparin get? How many ml is it? So, we can make a X on this here. We can make a put X on here. So, how to find X? The same step, cross multiplication, the simple way. So, x into 25,000 is equal to 250 into 700. So, how to will find, find x? x is equal to 250 into 700 divided by 25,000. So, so, you will get 7 ml. Okay? Students, so, if you have a question, we will ask you to 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 ask you can multiply here. If you have 5 hours, if you have 5 hours, you have to find how much of the drug will be received in 5 hours. So, what do we do here? If we have 1 hour, we have to multiply and multiply and multiply and multiply. But if we have 5 hours, we have to multiply with 5 hours. Okay? So, students, in our exam, in our Gulf countries, the DHA, the MOH, Prometric, and all the exams are calculated in one part. So, in the simple way, the question is not the same, but it is a little tricky. We have to ask the question that the question is important. So, the first question is, we have to ask the question that we have to ask the answer. So, students, we have to like this useful tips in our BMAX Academy YouTube page. Like, share and comment. If you have any doubt, you can type in the comment box type it down in the next video and then replay it down. Okay? So, I am Pharmacy Trainer signing off. Thank you students.